Okay, guys, welcome to the showdown effect. It's a beta that I got into today thanks to a friend on Facebook, Mr. Meaden. Here's me virtually nodding at you, sir. Uh, I'm going to give you a virtual, not virtual, a visual uh, tutorial, basically, to get you into the game a little faster. You can look at the how to play, or you can go to the settings and look at the uh, controls. But me, I like to, I like a visual aid, so I'm going to give that visual aid to you today. I'm going to go into the training. Just going to go over a few basics, just so you don't get your ass handed to you as soon as you get on the, into a multiplayer game. So uh, let's just jump straight in. Where am I? Where am I? And here we go. Uh, the first thing to cover up, basically, is when you first start, you'll have a gun and a melee weapon, which right now is our assault rifle, and we have a samurai sword. You also, by default, can use your fists, uh, but I wouldn't recommend using your fists unless you throw both these weapons. We'll cover that uh, in a few moments. Uh, as you can see, when we use our gun, we have an aiming reticle that comes up on the screen, which allows us to aim our gun, pretty much. Now, you'd think uh, that shooting at this guy here would actually hit him because the bullets are going to pass, but they don't. That's the thing about this game, it's very skill based, the fact that you need to keep the reticle on the target all the time. Very easy when it's a dummy and it's not moving, but when you're playing against other people and they're jumping all over the place, you're going to have to kind of keep the, the reticle on them all the time. To uh, Well, it's not going to be on them, but as you can see, the reticle changes. It's got to be kind of on them. It's got kind of a high hitbox, but not enough that... You don't uh, that it doesn't require any skill. So uh, as you can see, this is going to hit now. Uh, melee weapons are a lot stronger than the uh, than the guns, but the guns give you the um, added bonus of being a range. You can you can remain a safer distance, so to speak. But you can't block with uh, with the the gun. So uh, that's the downfall of the gun. If we switch to this uh, sword. We can just use a sword like normal, chop, 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 chop. And also, if you press the right mouse button, you'll block. You'll get a block uh, meter that comes up, which is the yellow bar above our health. As soon as that breaks down, your block meter is broke, and it won't block anything anymore anyway. Um, like most TD, 2D scrollers that allow you to scale walls, just hold down the jump button, and you'll scale walls. Uh, there you go, take that guy down. Anything that glows yellow in this game, you can pick up. Like these daggers, we can pick up the daggers. Uh, if you hold down the shift button, you can throw, and you can throw anything. So we can just throw these guys. Oh. As you can see, the dagger doesn't do a great deal of damage. It does look, it does not as much as samurai sword, but it, it probably does more than the the, the gun. Um, as soon as you switch back to one of your main weapons, if you're holding a third weapon, you will lose the third weapon. Look, it just drops it on the floor. Uh, you can't store more than the two weapons you have. Uh, not that I'm aware of, anyway. Maybe you can unlock more later on. Um, the other abilities are you can obviously uh, roll by double tapping left or right, which is A or D. Uh, you can also uh, slide by holding down S while running. You can slide. And there's an other ability called a lunge, basically, where you lunge at the target, and if you hit them, they get stunned for a second. You can do it uh, whenever you want, just hit that alt button, and you'll do like a lunge at them, like a charge at them. Uh, if you hit them, like I say, you stun them uh, momentarily. It's not a long stun, but it's enough to get you killed, so be very careful of it. But this lunge can also cause you damage if you do it from a distance, uh, from a height. Like there, the screen flashed. Now, if you take damage in the game, you can heal up. It's free to heal up. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time. You just hold down the B button, and it'll start bandaging up. As you can see underneath my health, there's a blue bar. That's for your hero ability. And right now, our hero ability is a personal shield. You can see at the top right-hand corner of the map. Uh, the map. <laughs> of the, of the <laughs> screen. Uh, to activate that, you just press control. And I'll basically become invulnerable for like two, two seconds. You'll see the blue bar drain down already. What is this? And then as soon as it ends, it, it comes out of it. It's really handy if you get jumped by uh, a few people. Uh... So that pretty much covers uh, everything you need to know, really. Um, yeah. The other thing you might want to know, uh, because it might be a little daunting going straight in. Uh, oh, let me just cover this as well. If you want to go up and down through levels like this, you need to hold W and press jump, and you'll jump up. If you want to come down this, you need to press S first, and then press uh, the jump button, and you'll drop down. Uh, 
like I said, the the thing that's daunting in this game that might be uh, is like I can't see anybody. They just turn up. They just appear. That's because the game incorporates the fog of war. If you never play the game in fog of war, yeah. basically you only have a certain amount of line of, uh, of vision uh, on the screen. Anything that's uh, like black, you can't really see. So and that's like a darker shade. Like uh, it makes sense when I drop down, it gets light. <laughs> when I jump up, you, like I said, you can't see the dummy down below. But when I drop down, you can see yeah. Now, that would be the same if it's a player. You wouldn't see the player down there. So, that's what the fog of war means. As you move forward, the fog of war opens <laughs> up in front of you and closes behind you. Uh, and that's essentially how fog of war works. Uh, using the ability yeah. like that to... The scale ability can break line of sight very fast. If you're being chased by somebody, you just do that. They won't see, they won't see you anymore. They'll know that you went up, but they won't see you anymore. It gives you a chance to escape. Yeah. Uh, because by the time they get up there, you could have gone a multitude of different directions. So, uh, and also, because when you pick up a third weapon, it disappears. If, you're gonna, if you know that you're going to switch to another weapon, just throw it blindly. You never know, you might hit somebody on the way down. I just throw it like that. You might hit somebody that's over there. You never know. It's, it, I mean, it's, the alternative is just to drop it, and what's the problem yeah. just throwing it. Uh... There's one other piece of advice I can add, and right now on the beta, there's some uh, clans out there which are uh, being assholes, really, because friendly fire is on, and if they, they know you're not a part of the clan, they'll just kill you straight away. And they're being idiots about it as well. I've like, done a few servers recently, and they've been idiots about it. Um, Hopefully you don't have that much issue with it, and hopefully in the full game there's a there's a way to turn yeah. off friendly fire. Personally, I like friendly fire on, but not with idiots like this because I think it adds a little more skill uh, mining out from hitting your own uh, people. Uh, so that's pretty much it. This should get you straight into the game now. You should be able to play uh, proficiently, so to speak, and uh, hopefully I've gone over the controls enough for you. But uh, if uh, not, uh, jump in the train and just have a quick play around and you'll uh, soon figure it out. Uh, so, I'll upload some gameplay video very shortly.